Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Tony. Let's get directly into things. So I wanted to address an issue today that I'm sure you've come across where your uncovered jailbreak application will not open and you guys are looking for a solution. So you quickly turn to Tweakbox or Ignition to re-download it, but find out very quickly that both of those utilities as well are not able to be installed right now. And that's because both of their developer enterprise certificates are being revoked and blocked by Apple. Now this is really not Apple or their fault. Really it's just a couple of users that are reporting these certificates to Apple. And while these signing services are not illegal, they are however against Apple's user policies. So that is why when they get reported to Apple by a couple people on the internet, Apple immediately revokes their developer certificate, meaning these signing services have to go back and set up an entirely new account to re-sign every single app application that they host that takes a long time guys and very quickly the same people that reported the last certificate just report the new one to apple hopefully this will be resolved pretty soon i'm not exactly sure how that's going to happen but we'll have to see exactly what the developers come up with but in the meantime i just wanted to remind everyone that you can still sign uncover the old-fashioned way by using Cydia Impactor and downloading the IPA directly from Pwn's GitHub. So I'm gonna quickly run through the steps of that just so you guys have a backup way to install the Uncovered Jailbreak utility while all of this drama is going on. All right, well, let's get directly into things. All of the download links are located down below in this video's description, potentially in a Best Tech Info article. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and open up Chrome you guys are going to want to install Cydia Impactor. You can just grab the download file right there. It's going to download. It is in a DMG format. So once you open up this DMG, you can just drag and drop this application to your desktop and we'll just save that right there for later. So once you have Cydia Impactor, you can go grab the latest version of the Uncovered Jailbreak from Pwn's GitHub. Again, it's not this version right here under clone or download. However, if the jailbreak utility eventually winds up out of beta stages, this is where you will go. But for now, while it is in beta stages, we can go to releases right here in the center and scroll all the way down to the latest beta release. And I believe that is beta 49. So we can go ahead and click on that. It's also going to start downloading and uh, we'll just give that a second to finish up here. And I just threw that on my desktop right here. Now the last step, is we're going to go to appleid.apple.com, scroll down to the security tab, and we're going to generate an app-specific password. Here we can type anything we want, so I'll just type T and click create, and then we're going to want to copy this password right here. And this is to sign apps within City Impactor. So now that we have all of that done, we can go ahead and open up Impactor and I'll drag that right center screen for you guys. So it recognizes our iPhone. Again, if you haven't done that yet, definitely plug your device into the computer via the standard lightning cable and trust the connection and all that stuff. Really just make sure your phone appears in iTunes just like that. Then we can quit out of iTunes and if it shows up just like this in City Impactor, we are good to go. Then you just drag and drop Enter your Apple ID, you can go ahead and click OK, and this is where the app-specific password comes into play that we just gathered from appleid.apple.com. We can go ahead and paste that in and click OK. So, now the Uncovered Jailbreak utility is being sideloaded onto our phones. Again, this is using the computer, and really right now this is the only way to do it, as multiple of the on-device signing services, their certificates are being revoked because they're being reported to Apple. So there we go, on-device, the Uncovered Jailbreak utility has appeared right there, but again, if you guys go to try to open it, you'll see this familiar page. However, it slightly differs from the notice that you guys were receiving before. Or anyway, to fix this, we can cancel out of that, go to settings, scroll down to general, and then scroll down to device management. We're going to select our Apple ID and click trust right there. And that is pretty much it. That is the entire process to sideload the latest version of Uncover onto your devices. Now, don't worry, it will say jailbreak right there. I'm currently using my 10R that's currently on 12.3. Aside from not using a supported device, the process remains exactly the same. 
So as long as you guys are on iOS 11 to 12.1.2, you're going to be good to go to jailbreak or re-enable your jailbreak once again. Anyway, I just wanted to quickly remind everyone that process of how to sideload the Uncovered Jailbreak utility manually using the computer because everyone's just gotten used to installing it with either Ignition or Tweakbox. And this is really the first time I've ever seen both of those apps go down at the exact same time. Anyway, I will be sure to keep you guys updated on the latest news I have if those signing services come back online anytime soon. If anything changes, I will definitely let you guys know. Thank you so much for watching this quick video. Again, if you want to stay updated with the latest jailbreaking and Apple news, definitely like, comment, and subscribe before you head out. Definitely bookmark our A12 jailbreak status checker again if you guys want to be notified when the Uncovered Jailbreak utility is updated to support the latest devices. Interestingly enough, for those of you who made it to the end of this video, I'll give you guys a slight jailbreak update at this current point in time. Pwn tweeted out this earlier today. As you guys recall from my last jailbreak update video, A12 and A12X support is pretty much entirely done aside from Cydia Substrate being updated to support these latest devices. So everything that Pwn or the rest of the Uncovered Jailbreak team, what they can do right now is entirely done. They're just waiting on Sork to finish up City of Substrate. Anyways, while this is going on, there's also an alternative called Substitute. Now, this is commonly used in the Electra Jailbreak and was used pretty much all of last year on the Electra Jailbreak on both releases of those. But Substrate by far is much more stable and has a lot of performance enhancements that Substitute just does not have. Anyway, Pwn tweeted out this saying, putting out a poll for the impatient folk, how would you like to get your A12, A12X jailbreak? Basically, how would you like to get your tweak support for Uncover? He says the first option, it's going to be a slower release, but stability and performance is going to be top notch. Now the second option is for a faster release, but that comes with a lot of catches. It's not going to be as stable, there's going to be a lot of performance issues and bugs, and there could even be a lot of battery drain with Substitute. And again, we'll link this as well if you guys actually want to contribute to this poll. It sounds like the majority of folk are saying the first option is going to be the way to go. Just wait for a stable jailbreak to come out for these devices. Anyway, I fully agree with these poll results. In the end, Substrate should definitely be the one that Pwn goes with. But I also think it'd be pretty cool while we wait for Substrate to officially be updated by Sorik, if we also had Substitute implemented for a couple of weeks until that final jailbreak utility is released. In theory, Pwn could update the Uncovered Jailbreak with Substitute right now, keep the Uncovered Jailbreak in beta stages, and once City of Substrate is updated for the A12 and A12X devices, he could implement that into the Uncovered Jailbreak take the Uncovered Jailbreak out of beta stages and have the final release for the iOS 12 to 12.1.2 Jailbreak with Cydia Substrate on all devices. Anyway, I'm sure that's a lot of work. I don't know if we'll get that lucky, but I again will be sure to keep you guys updated on anything that comes out from Pwn. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe before you head out. Anyway guys, until next time, this is Tony signing out. All right, so starting off with a bang. Here we have it right here, Tweaks. This one called Ultrasound is running on an iPhone XR, which of course is an A12 device. And a couple other users as well also tweeted their tweets showing that it's working on an iPhone XS. I think this is a 10s Max at that. So tweak injection to some extent is working on A12 devices. Now I'm sure everyone is wondering how this is possible. I know a lot of people on here were immediately thinking this was fake and to some extent they're kind of right. Yes, they do have tweaks running, but this is not being done with official substrate. That has still yet to be updated by Sorik, which we were talking about in my previous jailbreak update video. And this was confirmed a couple of tweets later that this was in fact achieved by using an Electra build for A12 devices. So that pretty much confirms that Electra to some extent has been updated for A12 devices in the background. It's not actually released yet, but there is a developer beta being spread around by multiple developers so they can test their tweaks using Substitute, which again is just a fork 
or an alternative version of substrate. It's basically just an unofficial way to get tweak injection running before substrate is officially updated by Sorg himself. And I'm not really trying to create any drama or anything like that. I'm just trying to lay the facts out for everyone. Pretty much in general, the Electra builds lately have been using Substitute, 2, where in contrast, the Uncover builds have been using the official Substrate by Sorik. And that brings me to my next point. Pwn to Own and the rest of the Uncovered Jailbreak team is just waiting on Sorik to update Cydia Substrate for A12 and A12X. And once that is completed, they're going to be releasing the final full-fledged Jailbreak utility for all iOS devices running iOS 12 to 12.1.2 including the latest devices like the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, and the 2018 iPad Pros. And that is confirmed by this tweet here. Pwn to Own states, if this wasn't already clear enough, Uncover was fully updated for A12 and A12X support, and we're only waiting for the Cydia Substrate update to go. 